In this lecture, we look at how to connect to the most basic of data connections, a file connection. When opening Tableau for the first time, you're presented with a connect to data view where you can set up your connection to a data source. With the default installation of Tableau, a number of file and server connections are available for you to choose from. Most common data source types used by data analysts such as Excel, flat files, database connections to Microsoft SQL Server and Oracle, and a few big data connectors are included. If you need to connect to a type of data source that is not listed, such as Microsoft SQL Server Analysis Services, for example, don't despair. Head over to Tableau site and have a look at whether they have a connector that you require. Chances are they do have it. If not, you will have to resort to providing an intermediate format between your data source and Tableau. The flat file is probably the simplest solution, but not very secure, and is not very good for handling large volumes of data. If those are required, you may want to consider an intermediate database or even a big data solution such as Hadoop. In our lecture, we will use Microsoft Excel data connection type, and we will connect to a sample file that comes with the default installation of Tableau. So find a file called sample-superstore-subset-excel on your local drive and open it. And opening that file will take us to the default uh, data view where we can actually uh, do a number of things with this data connection. So we can do things like change its name, uh, examine its structure, and play around with different fields in the source. In this case, we can see we're connected to Excel, uh, to a workbook with a particular name, and that that workbook contains three different sheets, orders, returns, and users. In our case, we will use orders, so drag orders onto the main sheet, which will cause Tableau to examine the underlying spreadsheet and get some metadata around it, as well as some actual data. So what Tableau's done now, it notices that the first re record or first row in that spreadsheet uh, contains column names, which were converted to field names in Tableau. And also it has examined the uh, number of records from the file to determine the data type for each of the fields. So the little icons underneath the column names or field names explain the data types for each. Hash means it's a numeric data type. Um, ABC means it's a character or a string. And there's also other ones like a little calendar icon, which means a date type, and a little globe, which means it's a, a geography type um, data field. There's a couple other things that I wanted to show you. You can change the number of records Tableau examines in the underlying um, data source. By default, it's 10,000 records. Um, in our case, it examines all the records. So by default, Tableau will look at 10,000 records in the underlying data source to determine the to determine things like data types um, and various other properties of fields, which we will look at in a second. The other two features are filters and connection types. In this case, uh, we're not having any filters on the source, but you can add a filter directly at the source level. Uh, we'll We'll cover filters and connections later on in the lectures, so we'll just leave them as defaults for now. So no filters and a live connection. The other thing you can do in this view is specify whether the underlying worksheet in Excel has first row with field names in it or not. In this case, it does, so we made the right decision here, or Tableau has made the right decision for us. Uh, you can actually change the reference for the sheet name as well, but we will not do that at the moment. And the other thing you can do is you can actually rename the whole data source to something a bit more user-friendly. So let's call this one Superstore Subset. Actually, let's call it Superstore Data dash orders. And this only renames the data source that Tableau uses, not doesn't make any changes to the underlying Excel spreadsheet. Um, and once we do that, let's go and click on Go to Worksheet, which takes us to the main view of Tableau, where we can start building our dashboards 
and visualizations and data views and so forth. You can see here that you're actually connected to a Superstore data orders and all the fields from that data source are listed either as dimensions or as measures. And with that connection, we can now start building our Tableau dashboards.